Unemployment benefits for hundreds of northern Minnesota miners is officially restored. Workers at the Cleveland Cliffs facilities in Babbitt and Silver Bay, you'll remember, were laid off in May when the mines idled. They've been without benefits since November. But as Northern News Now's Quinn Gorham reports, the bipartisan bill Governor Wall signed today changes that. I think if you had told me as a new senator that the second bill we would pass as a legislature uh, would be a bill that I authored, I would have been pretty surprised. DFL Senator Grant Housechild is a freshman this year in the state Senate, but he quickly jumped on the opportunity to pass a bill that directly benefits hundreds of his constituents. That bill restores unemployment benefits to more than 400 laid off North Shore miners. I also think that that shows sort of the the need that we have uh, to provide relief for our workers in our region and in our district. Those workers have been without benefits since late last year, but the newly passed legislation brings 26 weeks of benefits retroactive to the day they ended in the first place. We made it 26 weeks because we know that Cleveland Cliffs has indicated that April is the possible date for reopening, and that 26 weeks would get most of our workers to that point. The bill was a priority for Arrowhead lawmakers throughout the state government. House Child worked closely in the House with DFL Representative Dave Lislegard to move the bill along quickly. We came together and we got this done. The bill passed through the House just seven votes short of being unanimous. That means the importance of this bill was felt across party lines. We want those folks to know that we care. We want them to stay in our in our communities. We want them to um, uh, live their life. Republican Representative Roger Scraba co-authored the bill. He represents both Babbitt and Silver Bay, the communities most impacted by those layoffs. Scraba says investing in miners is a huge help while they wait to get their jobs back. That was my, my plea on the floor is they want to work. They want to collect unemployment. They really want to work. Both sides in agreement as hundreds of workers living in uncertainty have their benefits restored. In Duluth, Quinn Gorham, Northern News Now. Cleveland Cliff says they hope to reopen the mine in April. If that date sticks, the new benefits should carry most miners through.